All right, guys and girls, I got a project. Don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but I got some ideas. We'll see how it turns out. I'm, I probably won't film the whole thing, but yeah, maybe, maybe you guys can take an idea and do something similar if the need ever arised for a lawnmower or another ATV or something like that. So let me tell you what we got. So I've got from Harbor Freight two inch receiver hitch or a tube and a hitch with a pin got a couple of bolts and various scrap metal I got plenty of scrap metal so what we're gonna do instead of paying sixty seventy dollars for the Honda hitch that goes on the back of the four-wheeler or thirty dollars for the it's $35 shift or something like that for the chintzy Chinese one that I don't even trust. We're going to make our own. So, let's see how it turns out. I'll be back periodically. Alright, so I've been winging it. Here's what I have so far. <coughs> Since the holes are offset on the axle over there, they're not in line with each other. I had to get a little creative and not really measuring a whole lot, just uh, like I said, faking it till I make it. So I got that piece tacked down, those two pieces. I knew when I cut it, I just used the other end of it. I knew it wasn't going to line up, but that's fine because what's that, what that's going to allow is me to get some, some weld in there. Uh, it's just more points of fusion. So my thought is, is that's going to take the majority of the weight. And then I've got this piece and this piece, which this piece is actually going to go over here, but it's going to be cut go back just because of the, the angle I had to do for that and it's actually gonna go about that far up it's not gonna go all the way to the top because I don't want to put spacers and stuff to make them fit on the axle over there but this fits so far I could get the other bolt but one-handed see how it's offset you know it's kind of dark but it fits that and it's eyeball straight. So, I've had the GoPro doing time lapse photos, but I don't know if I'll end up using it or not. It gets really hot, so I turn it off for a little while. Matter of fact, it's cooled off now. Probably good, but I don't want to fill up the memory card either. Then I won't get the end of it. But there we go. That's what I got so far. Next on the list is cut where I mark these. 
that one and that one. And then bolt it all to the four-wheeler and hit it with some tacks and then weld her out. And then once it's welded out, clean it up real good, make sure it works and if, that, if that's everything's good then slap some paint on it. It's a done deal. All right guys, I'll be back shortly. Guys and girls, that's what I came up with. Not the greatest welds in, welds in the world, but I'll pit them against any of these Chinese welds any day. So this thing mounts on the ATV like that. And that should be plenty strong. heavy duty I mean it's not that heavy I mean you see me I'm picking it up kind of awkward with one hand no problem so one more test fit on the four-wheeler if everything's good a coat of paint ah, screw the welds it'll be fine all right, guys, I'll show you the finished product after it's painted and back on the ATV. Well, guys and girls, threw a coat of paint on it last night, touched it up before I shut down the shop, and this is how it turned out. Overall, I'm, I'm happy with it. It works as intended. It doesn't stick out from the back of the four-wheeler at all. <laughs> so you could take that off if you had to. And... slide in anything you want there you go clip it in now even with that it doesn't protrude that far past the four-wheeler trying to stand right on top it's not sticking out far enough where it should catch your legs and stuff but you know it's the hitch will handle a lot more than the four-wheeler will. You know, I don't like that it connects into that aluminum right there. But, just as long as we're not towing a bunch of heavy crap on the tongue weight, then uh, I think we'll be alright. So yeah, overall I'm happy with it. Calling it a success. You know, that one didn't have the trailer hitch stuff like the Kawasaki and a lot of other ones. You know, they've actually got a plate welded onto the axle tube. This one did not. So there we go. That's what I came up with. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know what footage I'll piece together, but I'll come up with something. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And we'll catch you on another rendition of uh, Chaos Garage. See you guys. Oh. And don't forget, happy Father's Day to all you fathers. Catch you guys later.